two-stroke engine. It is really interesting to know about two-stroke engine that was very popular throughout the 20th century in motorcycles, cars, a few tractors and many ships. Part of their appeal was due to their simple design, low cost and often high power to weight ratio. These engines are still used for small, portable or specialized machine applications such as outboard motors, small capacity motorcycles, mopeds, scooters, snowmobiles, carts and model airplanes. Have you ever thought how a two-stroke engine works? Let's now see the working in detail. A two-stroke engine is an internal combustion engine that completes the process cycle in one revolution of the crankshaft that is an upstroke and a downstroke of the piston. Which means while in a two-stroke engine, piston moves only twice within a complete cycle. The first movement is called the compression stroke and the second stroke is called the power stroke. In a two-stroke engine, the three strokes that is suction, power and exhaust are combined into second stroke. Now let's see the compression stroke. In compression stroke, the piston goes up and compresses a fuel-air mixture into the combustion chamber of the cylinder head. Within first stroke, crankshaft completes half revolution. Now let's learn the second stroke, which is called power stroke. In power stroke, spark plug fires, fuel is ignited and drives the piston down. As the piston goes down, it not only turns the crankshaft, but also pressurizes the fuel-air mixture in the crankcase, which is about to be admitted to the piston for the next cycle. Near the bottom of the stroke, an outlet opens and the exhaust gases are released. Even nearer to the bottom of the stroke, an inlet opens and new fuel air is forced into the cylinder. Within this stroke, crankshaft completes next half of the revolution. And thus, process cycle completes.